So my name is Vincent Lancey. I actually reached out to you this morning on all social media to let you know that we are TGH strong and um, my goal is to share my story with you and explain why TGH is especially meaningful to me as well as everybody else here. When I was 21 years old, I was hit by a car while walking home from my first friend to turn 21's birthday party. People were drinking. I decided to take the safe route home and walk. I just didn't know that would be almost a death sentence. I was on South Howard, leaving a strip of bars, went to my door, because I lived about 10 minutes away, forgot my keys, went back to find my roommates, no luck. As I was crossing the road back by my house, uh, you know, a car hit me from behind at about 40 miles an hour. I went up in the air and landed on my face, all purple. I suffered from traumatic brain injuries, and I now have a metal rod in my leg. My bone came out, and they had to straighten it up and have the bone grow naturally around it. You know, I wasn't supposed to make it through the first night, and I'd like to just ask you to put yourself in my mother's shoes. If you have kids, um, she had to get a call in New York saying, hey, we don't know what's gonna happen. If your son is Vincent, we can't send anything on the phone, but you need to get to Tampa immediately. So that phone call is basically my motivating fuel for everything I do in life. Once I made it through the night, the doubts then shifted to I'll never walk, talk, go to school, all these things again. I was at level zero, getting dressed by a stranger every morning to riding the most tedious task, the arm bicycle. You know, I couldn't separate dreams from reality, you know, but because of TGH, you know, if I was anywhere else, I probably wouldn't be here today. I had to, you know, relearn everything. Like I said, walk, talk, but through TGH's strength, I was finally able to put all my thoughts into a book. I have one for you as a gift. It is a story from when I was born through the hospital. My mother, you know, I see a lot with my mom because you were with him. Took a journal the first 15 days of all the ridiculous things that have happened to me. I said this, that. So basically my goal with this book is to raise mental health awareness and the dangers of drinking and driving. While he didn't get convicted of a DUI because it was a hit and run, you know, on Howard, there's the 75 North and South. This man just decided to keep going, didn't even stop, and luckily there was a police DUI checkpoint right there where the officer had two decisions, chase the guy, arrest him, or save my life. So I'm indebted to him. But, you know, TGH, I'm just here to stress, you know, the importance of quality of care, not just any care. I know with all the laws changing and deregulizing, you know, Tampa General, how much volume they have and how much practice and, you know, things are so good over there. You know, all of us will probably never go to another hospital again. So I do thank you for your time. I know you have a lot going on for us to share our stories, but you know, I hope my story can help portray why TGH is so important to setting an example for these other hospitals. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. And I'm glad that you are um, doing amazing things. And just working hard, and I'm not no problem with working hard. It's just different life goals now. I went to school for my finance degree, and I did my MBA. I went back after they said you won't finish one. I said screw you, I'm gonna do it twice. Spoke at commencement for MBA, and that's when I realized that I may have a different purpose. You know, I've still been employed in odd jobs to make ends meet, like self-publishing a book, and you know, been at big companies like Merrill Lynch, PwC, all these business things. And I'm not saying I'll never go back, but right now, my goal is to raise as much awareness for mental health and illnesses and the dangers of drinking and driving. And I learned with a master's sometimes that wasn't enough to get the credibility to even be in you know, rooms like this, for example. So I kept grinding and grinding. It took four years to get this finally done. And now I'm hoping that I can travel to kids, high school kids, college kids, and just let them know, you know, their decisions could have a consequence, not preach at them, not talk down to them. I resonate with them on age. So that's why I'm really trying to attack it right now before all these grades come in, <laughs> you know, but I can't thank you enough again for letting me speak with you today and my Tampa family. Thank you. Well, and he does a great job. He does go around and do motivational speaking, and it really is. I'm very just hoping good. this allows me to do it more so, because I know going from a bank job making seventy, eighty thousand dollars to now I teach English for ten dollars a class online, spend time with my family while I'm writing this book. I know money will come if I continue to work hard and I follow my passion. And this is what my dream is: to travel around, just help kids, just stay on track. And peer pressure can be real, so I'm just here to share my story and if I can get through to one kid in the whole auditorium or hopefully more than one, but you know, my job's done and I'll be satisfied, yeah. Your story is so inspiring. I'm sure that you will resonate with so many different people. I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.